Hello Sagittarius, how's everybody doing? I just got off of a really nice um, birthday weekend um, and so I'm back at it. Um, this month I'm being um, guided to use my rooms which I had to do a lot of research to kind of prepare to do these. Um, so I have my cheat sheet. And I found research from like a lot of different room sites. I know there's, you know, different names depending on, you know, what category, you know, like if they're like Viking rooms or for example. So I just wrote down keywords. <laughs> I, I bought shit because a couple of times, um, my plant dripped water. I didn't learn the first time, um, but by the second time I learned to move my nose. But luckily, you know, they didn't smear. I was like, all this research I did and they got wet, so, <laughs> but they're still good. So I am going to um, pull some runes. So please be patient with me. Um, I did make some pretty good notes. I was pretty impressed with my Scorpio video. It went a lot smoother than I expected it to until I actually learn, you know, where I don't have to like look. And then I'm going to use my intuition too. So, all right, give me a couple more rooms. <clears throat> Or two more. All right. So the first one, the first one is, and I may completely dissect the names. I apologize in advance. Sawulu, Sawulu. And it actually means sun, thunderbolt, wheel of power, victory, clear vision, honor, and rest are some of like the keywords. I wrote down keywords. Um, but you see it looks like a thunderbolt. Um, and so this particular rune has everything to do with power um, and really seeing things in a clear way. Um, you are, it's, it's like you're having these epiphanies and you're having these uh, very clear understanding of things. Um, it's like you're seeing something or a situation um, for the first time, like with fresh eyes. And, um, you know, it's like maybe this could be a person or a situation, some sort of situation that you, maybe you took for granted or you really didn't see it for what it was. And now you have this clear vision. It's almost like, um, it's almost like the sun coming out after a storm, you know, or, or like this aha moment, like, wow, um, I didn't see this, like, you know, I didn't see it like, like this before. Um, I have a new understanding of it. Um, this can be a new understanding of yourself, but definitely a lot of clarity with this particular room. Um, and also it's, it's interesting. The term rest came up, um, because it's almost like you're, you're in this period of rest where, um, and, and it's the rest that allowed you to have this clarity because maybe before, maybe you, one of these people, you just kind of kept going and kept going and kept going. Um, and you just never stopped and you stood still long enough to really listen to, um, this inner guidance, this inner sense of knowing. And that's where this clarity came from, was from this period of rest. Uh, maybe you took a vacation, maybe you took some time off from work, you know, maybe you're unemployed right now. Whatever it is, um, that sort of that pause, that stillness really um, did you a lot of good. And if you haven't had this moment, that's what you're being guided to do. So do take what resonates. My drawings are not the best. Well, okay, I see it. This one is called Dreg or Dagos. It's got two different names. 
It actually means day or dawn. Um, it means intuition, light, breakthrough, growth, cosmic, and consciousness. So that really goes along with what I picked up with this first rune. Um, this intuition of actually, you know, the first thing that came to, you know, came to me was, you know, seeing the light. Um, and having this breakthrough and really being able to <clears throat> acknowledge your own growth. And I feel like there's, you know, another person involved in this scenario, too. And you also see their growth. Um, and it's almost like, you know, this victory of, wow, look how far we've came. Um, and now I can really see why all of this had to happen. It's like all of the pieces of the puzzle are fitting together. Everything's fitting together perfectly. Um, And there is a, this raised sense of consciousness now um, that has came with this growth. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with maybe um, even things that you believed in before, you're starting to look at them differently. Like maybe, you know, I haven't always been right about things that I thought I was right about. Or maybe things that I grew up believing to be true, I'm really questioning them now. Um, because I have raised my consciousness um, because, you know, it's it's like the sun came out. Like I said, the sun coming out after a storm. That's this energy that I'm getting is that, you know, um, when you were like kind of on the go, on the move, never pausing, never um, really kind of pulling back your energy and just practicing the stillness um, and really zoning in, kind of zoning in on um, your consciousness it's like your energy was just everywhere and now you've kind of pulled it back um you're harnessing your power um and like i said you're more aware of things now you're more aware that um, there's more going on than what meets the eye it's like you can see behind that veil now you know it's it's like wizard of oz you know when you pull back the curtain and you can see the wizard you know that there has been this grand force kind of behind everything um, and everything has happened for a reason and you can actually even see your part in it um, with your intentions and with um, your whole belief system all right we have this one is called kanaz it actually means fire and knowledge um, and, you know, you Sagittarius, you know, you are a fire sign. Um, you know, you have this passion and this fire energy. Um, but it's it's like you don't ever think anything. Um, it's, it's almost like you just kind of bulldoze your way through life. It's like this bulldozer energy. Um, and I'm not taking away from that. Um, but it's that energy that's really left you depleted and really kind of made you miss the boat on a lot of situations. Um, there have been a lot of things you've missed out on just because you were in this bulldozer energy um, of not really, I wouldn't say that you don't think things through because you do tend to overthink at times, um, but maybe not caring about the consequences. And this has came back to bite you in the ass more than once. Um, so now you're aware of this. You have this knowledge of this. Um, and so now you're going to move differently. Beautiful energy. Um, this one here is wind. It actually means wind. And this is actually an earth energy. Um, these runes have like different energies attached to them, kind of like tarot. Tarot has you know, like the cups energy, which is love, um, swords, which is, you know, mental conflict. Also, you know, you have your earth cards and tarot. Um, this is an earth rune. So this really, um, with this wind card, this really has to do with um, the physical world. You know, you have your, the spiritual world where, you know, you got behind that veil, there's things going on that, you know, behind the scenes. And then you have what's going on in the physical world. Um, this is what's going on in the physical world. And it says kinship, heritage, 
harmony, blessings, affection, and desire. So a lot going on with family right now, um, with kinship. Um, and, and some of this clarity that you have coming in could even be that too. So many times we put so much emphasis on what's going on um, with our physical family. Now understand, you know, we have our physical family, we have our soul family. And physical family is soul family, they're both. Um, but the physical family is that family that we've been born into, um, where we kind of get stuck with those ancestral patterns and those cycles that our family has been in for generations. Um, that we are here to clear those. We're here to clear that out. We're here to break those cycles, whatever those cycles are, whatever that means to you. And so that is the energy I'm getting with that car, with that room. Sorry, I'm just using cards. But not just that, I feel like it's those ancestral cycles that you've been stuck in. Um, you know, maybe uh, you had a complicated relationship with your mother or your father. Um, and this kind of carried over into um, your personal life, into your personal relationships. Or um, maybe you tend to kind of be in, stuck in the same cycles or patterns as your siblings, you know, whether it be um, toxic behaviors like maybe addiction, um, substance abuse, um, any type of way that they have moved. You're really being asked to look at that. Okay, we have August. Um, it says that the animal, the elk, um, is associated with this particular room. It's actually war, uh, and another key word is warrior, um, protection, sanctuary, um, friendship, optimism, aspiration, fortunate, and soul. All those terms I wrote down everything there was to know about these. Um, and it's really funny, you know, because the Sagittarian is the hunter. Um, and so I do feel like this particular rune um, really, really picked up on that energy. Um, and basically what I'm getting with that is you really need to check yourself because so many things have came to you easily, um, whether it be love, whether it be um, money, abundance, whatever it is. Um, but I feel like, you know, with this particular room, what it's trying to tell you is that sometimes you have, and a lot of times you have rejected that because it was too easy. And for you, you feel like anything that's too easy isn't worth it because you're a hunter. You like to go out and get it. And so you really like the chase. You really like the hunt. Um, but you really need, and this is one of those patterns that I was picking up on too. I mean, not only is it, you know, definitive of your sign, but this is a pattern um, that you want what you can't have. And when you have it, you don't want it because if you, if you have it, you feel like it's too easy and you want to be able to pursue it. So you spent your whole life pursuing things that you've already have. So that is going to be some of that clarity um, some of those aha moments because you actually pause, you actually have that stillness and you actually see how you kind of self-sabotaged. This one here, Ansus, Ansus Odin. It means God. This is also an earth energy. It's interesting that it's God and it's earth energy. Um, but, you know, we are gods. We are um, di divinities. We are the universe experiencing itself. That's the reason why we have this co-creative power. Um, and we need to stop giving our power away to um, sources outside of ourselves. Because we are co-creators with the universe, as the universe, as a piece of the universe. We all form the universe, each and every one of us. And so we have that co-creative power. So each and every one of us have this God-given, this God-like power um, that we really need to step into. Um, and part of becoming more and more conscious, um, you realize that that's, that's all that the law of attraction is. And there's other laws too. People just focus so much on that particular law because it's so mainstream. 
but they all work together. And that's all the law of attraction is, is being in alignment with what you truly want. Um, and the way that we become in alignment with what we want, for one thing, is knowing that whatever it is we want, we, we can have. And so we have gratitude for it. We have faith that it's coming um, and remove any obstacles um, to believing that is true, whether it be insecurities, fears, um, those ancestral cycles, those patterns that we're stuck in that we're here to clear out. Um, wisdom, advice, tests, ancestors. So once again, I really feel very much like Sagittarius, your theme right now is really clearing out that ancestral shit, that stuff that your, your family's been stuck in like forever. I know for me, all the women on my mom's side of the family, no one lived to see 65. No one. Um, I just turned 51 over the weekend, so um, this kind of caused me some anxiety for a while, but I said, you know what, I know that this is something I'm going to clear out this curse, this family curse, even if I just live to be 65. <laughs> I've done it, yes, and I know that I'm going to do it. Um, and so we're really here, anything like that, you know, and like I said, it can be substance abuse, it can be maybe, you know... <sighs> Domestic violence. Maybe the men in your family have been abusive. Maybe, you know, this is something that you've experienced, either been the receiver or been the giver. No judgment. I mean, we're all here playing our roles. Um, every one of us, it's like this great stage where each and every one of us have our roles that we have to play. So, I mean, no judgment at all on my part. All right, we have... Mm -hmm. Where is this one at? My last video went so smooth. Well, we have Okay, we have this one here, Lagoos. It means water. Um, in fact, um, water is, is what goes along with this particular room. Um, fertility, long renewal, psychic, feminine, dreams, intuition. And this particular room goes along with heaven. Heaven. Um, and it's interesting, you know, that water was the term here. Um, you may be involved with um, a water sign. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, and, and it's got a feminine energy attached to this. Um, a very emotional room. Um, you know, this can be you. Um, you could be, you know, a male watching this. This could be... Your romantic interests do take um, what resonates, but females are more intuitive than men are. And the reason why is because we are more connected to our, um, our emotions, you know, and you could be, you know, really stepping into um, your emotions, um, really connecting to them really developing your intuition. I developed my intuition by spending more time out by water. You could be a person that really loves water. Maybe you went and you took you a trip that involved water and that's why you're having these aha moments. Um, maybe that's what you need to do. But definitely something with water and intuition and a female. And like I said, I'm really picking up on the fact that you could be involved with a water sign. And we water signs, we tend to really get in our feelings more than the other elements do. Um, and maybe you're picking up on that. That's very interesting. Let me see what else it says. And with it being connected to heaven, this is definitely the spirit realm. This is definitely what's behind a curtain. Um, this is definitely 
Um, and it also says psychic powers. Maybe you are actually really stepping into um, your intuition and having these psychic moments, um, dreams, maybe dreaming about your water sign. Um, very lucid dreaming. And pay very close attention to whatever comes up in your dreams because it's really tied to these patterns and these cycles that you've been stuck in. Um, and I feel like this really has to do with the fact of that, you know, self-sabotage where I said that, you know, things that come easy for you, you don't want. You like that challenge. You like that chase. That's the hunter in you, Sagittarius. Um, but that will keep you from really having a real intimate relationship, really being able to connect with another person on a soul level. Well, thank you very much, Sagittarius, for watching this video. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading this month, whether it be the runes or the cards, and I'm so sorry, I will get the hang of these. <laughs> I had a little bit of anxiety a minute ago when I couldn't find it. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, my personal readings are $30 in the month of November. I will include my email address in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.